everybody and welcome back to Kids Club. It is so good to see you. I hope you've had a lovely week. Today we've got a friend who's come to visit us from a very, very far way away. Would you like to meet her? Good. Her name is Custard. So let's give her a big shout and see if she'll come out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Custard! Oh, come on, Custard, we'd like to meet you. Oh, I'm a bit shy. Oh, don't be shy. Mm. Our kids' club friends are very friendly. Yeah, you sure? I'm very sure they would you love really, to really meet sure. you. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello, Custard. Hello, kids. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. That's good. Yeah. Now, we would like to know, Custard, why have you come to visit us this week? Well, I was hoping I could come for more than one week because I got to learn about what humans are made of and how they work. Well, that's perfect timing. We would love to have you for more than just one week. Oh, good. We're going to be learning about our senses. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. Would you like to know what our senses are? Oh, yeah, I don't know what senses are. Our senses are our hands that we can touch things with, or our nose where we can smell things, mm -hmm. our ears we can listen, oh. and our eyes we can see. And the best one is our tongues that we can taste things with. Yeah? No. It, yeah. This is what we would taste with. Is it? Yeah. Would you like to taste a banana? This is one of Greg's bananas. Oh, is it? I'm sure he'd love it. Wouldn't mind sharing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can I, can I I'll get you one. one. Oh, no, no, no. no you can't be eating that. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to make your mouth burn, Custard. You can't be eating that. Off you go and get some water to help you. Silly Custard. Well, we'll teach him how to be able to eat different types of things and taste them. But for now, I think we should be doing our birthdays. So I'm going to grab our birthday hat and our candle. And we're going to sing happy birthday. We've got lots of friends that have a birthday to celebrate at the moment. We've got Katie and Blake, Isabel, Caleb and Hamish all had their birthdays last week. And this week is going to be Mabel. So let's sing happy birthday to them. One, two, three. Three. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Katie, Blake, Isabel, Caleb, Hamish and Mabel, happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray! I hope you have a lovely week and get lots of presents to enjoy. But it's time for us to do our singing now, so everybody stand up. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Praise, what's that? It's a
Do you like to eat? We all like to eat, don't we? Our food is grown in fields and harvested for us to enjoy. We turn these wonderful ingredients into yummy tasting food that we love to eat. What happens when you don't eat? You get hungry or irritable or grouchy. You may even get a headache or not feel so good. And if you don't eat for a long time, you begin to feel weak and tired. Everyone knows that you have to eat the right food to keep your body healthy and strong so your body will grow properly. Keep your body healthy is important, but there's another part that also needs to be taken care of. Does anybody know what that is? That's it. It's your spirit, your heart, your mind, the things that you think and you feel. Your body doesn't last forever, but your spirit does. Of course, we won't eat food that has gone bad. Ugh, it makes us sick. That is what sin is. The things we do wrong that God tells us not to do, like telling lies. That's bad. Don't do it. It makes your spirit sick. But Jesus promises that if we ask him to be our savior, to forgive us for our sins, he will heal our spirits. He is the bread of life. It's important to keep your body and your spirit healthy. So how do you keep your soul or your spirit healthy? Well, you do it in the same way that you keep your body health. You just give your body food, so you give your spirit food. And that's by studying God's word, or listening to worship music, memorizing Bible verses and praying. We usually eat at least three times a day. So if we feed our bodies three times a day, let's feed our spirits too. Think about some of the ways that you have fed your spirit this week. Did you pray? Did you sing some worship songs? Have you listened to or read some Bible stories? Did you listen to what your mom and dad have to say about who God is? You may not have thought about this, but we spend a lot of time and effort keeping our bellies happy. Your parents go to work so that they can pay for our food. We spend so much time taking care of our tummies, making sure that there's good food in it. We need to do the same with our spirits. So, if we feed ourselves three times a day, why don't you feed your spirit three times a day? Read a story about God. Pray. Talk to Jesus every single day. Well, Cassid, isn't that interesting learning? Oh, yeah. That is, that we need to be able to nourish our bodies with the food that we eat, but that we also need to look after our hearts and our minds and feed our hearts and our minds too. So how do we do that? Then? Well, we do that by reading God's word, where do we find that? Is it on the wall there? No, it's not on the oh. wall. It's in, in a book. Ceiling. It's in a book like this, called the Bible. Oh! Have you seen a book before? No. Can you read it? Yeah, well, if you keep visiting us over the next couple of weeks, we'll get to read all about the stories of Jesus in this book. Oh, that sounds interesting. Excellent. Well, yeah. I'd love to share those stories with you. Oh, yeah, you do, 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 do. I'm and going we... to come every week now. Excellent. We need to be reading our Bibles and learning his stories all the time. Oh, lovely. It helps our minds learn about who Jesus is and to know what is the right things and the wrong things to do. What? All from reading that book? All from reading this book. It's a very what important book. Well, it must be. It is. And another way that we can look after our hearts and our minds is by praying when we talk to God. Praying. Talking? What, when he comes in the room, you mean? No, no, God doesn't come into the room physically for us oh. to see him. So how do I talk to him then? Well, there's lots of ways you can talk to him. You can is either that... talk to him in your mind. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but just kind of, you know, nobody else can hear you, but you oh, talk true. to him in your mind. Or you can talk to him by using your voice out yeah. loud. Oh. Some people like to open their hands up when they're praying, and other people like to close their hands. Some people like to pray with their eyes open, and other people oh. like to close their eyes and bow their heads. Oh, can I just bow my head? You can bow your head. Oh, lovely. You want to keep your eyes open then? Yes, please. I don't like shutting my eyes. That's fine. You don't have to shut your eyes. Oh, that's good. I'm going to keep my eyes, my hands open and I'm going to close my eyes. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. Should we pray then? Oh, yeah. Go on then. Okay. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that we have your Bible to tell us lots of stories that can feed our hearts and feed our minds about all the good things that you've done for us. Lord Jesus, help us to remember to pray to you and talk to you through the week and to learn more about your stories that we can know what is right and what is wrong. Thank you for our friends and for our families and for all the blessings you give us and keep us safe this week. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh, what was that word at the end for? Well, we say Amen. It's like our way of saying we praise you, Lord. And Thank oh, you. Oh, can we say it again then? We can do, but now we're going to start off small and we're going to go big. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. So we go, Amen. Amen. Yay, well done, Kat.
has, Dad. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. I've learned so much today. Well, it's been really wonderful happening, having you. Happening? Oh, my goodness. It's been really fun it having you. It has been you. happening. <laughs> it's all it's, been happening today, it has hasn't it? All day, all day, all day, all day. I've really enjoyed having you visit us, and I'm looking forward to seeing you every week. Oh, yes. Yes, and I'm really looking forward to coming. And it was great to see all those kids out there. Well, thank you very much for being with us, everybody. Yeah. Have a Thanks wonderful week. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.